Recently, my husband and I celebrated 30 years of marriage, and I just want to share some of the basic things that I learned about being a wife and how to have a good marriage. When I first got married, one of my main desires was to have a good marriage because there are a lot of other couples that have been married a long time, but they don't have a good relationship together. In this video, I'm going to talk about the things that I have learned in 30 years of being a wife. There will be a part two of this video because I could and put everything that I have learned in this one video. So make sure you stay tuned for the next upload about this topic. It's important to value your mate. When you don't value something, you're not going to take care of it. So you want to recognize when you have something good because when you do know and appreciate that you do have something good, you're going to want to take care of it. Focus on the good. It's so easy when you have been married for a couple of years to pay attention to all the things about your mate that you don't like, but you never really see the good in your mate. And what's dangerous about that, if your mate feel that you don't appreciate them, it is so easy for someone else to come along and just give your mate a little attention. And if you're not careful, your mate could end up wanting to be around that particular person a little more because he's not getting that at home. So it's very important to see good in your spouse and don't be judgmental. It's very important every so often to give each other space. What's good about when you're not around each other for a little while is that it's going to cause you to miss that person and it's going to make you want to be around your spouse a little more. The majority of my marriage, I really didn't understand the importance of giving each other space, but I do understand it a lot more now and it's because I I have been a stay-at-home wife for maybe four years now and since I'm at home now my husband and I we spend a lot of time together and some days we're around each other all day but one thing I love about my husband is that He's the type of person to where he is an extrovert. So he loves being around people and he likes to go places. And I'm the opposite. I'm an introvert. So I like to be by myself. But it works for us because I don't mind him going out, hanging out. And I have my alone time at home. That is how I focus. And that is how that I'm able to rejuvenate. And with him, by him being an outgoing person, when he's interacting with people, it causes him to rejuvenate so it's okay to give each other a little space every so often don't take it personal find fulfillment within now being that I'm an introvert I don't have friends and my best friend is my husband and also my children but it took me a long time to find fulfillment within myself I can remember when I first got married I thought that that was what I needed. So I focused on my husband and his needs. When I became a mom, I thought that that would fulfill me. It made me happy, but I still felt some emptiness inside. Not until a couple of years ago, I found fulfillment for myself and I became truly happy and also content. It's very important as an individual, whether you are a male or female, to find fulfillment. Because one of the main things is that you can't can't find that in a person. It comes from within. Sometimes we as women, we, especially when you are single, you feel like that once you get married, then that is all that you need. But marriage can bring you some fulfillment, but the majority of what you need, you're going to have to find that yourself. And it doesn't have anything to do with your spouse or even your children. The more hobbies that I inquired, the more fulfilled I became. Fix yourself up daily. The reason why you want to fix yourself up daily because it helps you to feel good about yourself. It boosts your self-esteem. And not only that, it keeps your husband 
interested in you. Don't never get to where you don't care about fixing yourself up for your husband because you need to care about how the way that he perceive you. When you fix yourself up on a daily basis, you are self-consciously telling your husband that he is important enough for you to fix yourself up. I want to look pretty for you. I want you to be attractive to me. You are special. Pursue sex. I don't care how long you have been married. Certain things you should never forget how to do, especially if you are a woman. When you pursue your husband, it keeps him interested in you and it also freshens your relationship. Things that are important to you, you take care of and you don't take it for granted. Marriage is important and if you want to have a good relationship, there are some things that you just have to do to keep your marriage fresh. Marriage is what you make it. If you don't put anything in it, you're going to barely get anything out of it. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned for my next upload about things that I have learned in 30 years of marriage. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a Facebook group and it's only for women. If you're into self-improvement, come and join my Facebook group. I would love to help you. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.